Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today I'm in Myrtle Beach. I am looking at the 10 best things to do in Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach is a busy place. We're going to show you a lot. Stay with us. Ah, Myrtle Beach, beautiful, 60 miles long. But there is so much to do in there, I have to start. Number one, go to a dinner show. They have some amazing shows. They have a pirate show, which I think is the best. They have a medieval show. They have an Opry show. There's a lot of different shows. And if you go to Myrtle Beach, book these and book one in advance because it might be full by the time you get there. But if you like to see shows and these are great, I say the number one thing to do in Myrtle Beach is to go to a show. I do recommend the Pirates, but as I said, there are plenty of others. So what else do people like to do in Myrtle Beach? Well, of course, they like to spend time on the beach. The beach is gorgeous and there's a lot to do. You can do parasailing, you can do jet skiing, you can do all kinds of things on the beach. Of course, the number one thing is to just Sit there, relax, enjoy the sun. Maybe you want to go in the water. Be careful when the tides are strong, but it's a beautiful place to go, and you definitely will have to spend time in the water or on the beach. At least walk the beach. It's a great place to go, and that's why most people go to enjoy the beach. So yes, I would say the beach is number two on my list of things to do in Myrtle Beach. But there really is so much, and you don't want to just spend all day doing that if you like to do other things. Number three idea is to go to the aquarium. It is a really nice aquarium. It's Ripley's Aquarium, and you know Ripley always has interesting things. So they have a lot of different kinds of interesting fish that you can watch, you can take selfies. Look at this, they have a nice 360 aquarium. It's a beautiful thing to do, and I'll tell you, the kids love it as well. So if you have kids, bring them. Look at that shark coming right to you. It's a fun place, and it really doesn't matter your age. You can be older and still enjoy it. There's a couple of floors, and uh, it should take you a couple of hours to go around. And it's nice because you can, look at here, you can touch the rays if you want. There's a little bit of, there's penguins, there's a little bit of everything to do at this aquarium. And, you know, if you want to see, look how the uh, jellyfish are, you can learn a lot as well. It's a fun time. Uh, it's at the area where Broadway and the beach, which I will talk about later, is. So don't hesitate to go to the aquarium. I think everybody will love it. There's a lot to see there. And I don't think it's too, too expensive, $18, $20 a person, something to that effect. It's a great thing to do. And uh, so that is the third thing on my list. What do we have next? Well, if you're going there, you might as well go to Broadway on the beach. So at Broadway on the beach, there's like a long boardwalk, a long walking area. You walk around in a big circle and you will find restaurants. You will find a lot of different stores to go shopping in. You'll also find some activities. You can zip line. You can go on a boat. You can go on some amusements. There is a large a uh, Ferris wheel that you can go on. Here somebody is zip lining. You can uh, do a bunch of different things, a carousel. Uh, it's a fun, fun place to go. There's also a Wonder Works there, so you might want to do that. Number five on my list is to hit the Hollywood Wax Museum. Now, it's always fun to hit a wax museum and see different figures. Uh, not all of them are looking exactly like the people they're supposed to, but you can see Elvis and Marilyn Monroe, and there's also some horror creatures, like right here that looks like Jason. And there's also the guy from Scream. Now, there is also other activities in this one, and you might want to get a package where you get all three. You can go in a haunted house, which we did, and was very, very scary. It was zombies. And that was fun. And there was also a mirror maze. So there is a variety at that place. And if you get the package and you get all three, 
It's going to take you uh, maybe four hours to go through it, but it's a lot of fun, good place to go. Next, you might want to go to Merle's Inlet. There's a lot of things here, including this Brook Green Botanical Gardens. You'll learn a lot there. That is a fun place to go. It's a short little drive. It's considered part of Myrtle Beach, but it's just, you know, off the beaten path. If you go to Merle's Inlet, you might want to see a few things like... Uh, there's some places to shop, like there's the hammock shops, which are nice. Nice, it looks almost like a little New England type of community. And there's little stores where you can buy hammocks, of course. You can buy jams and jellies and t-shirts. And it's very quaint, very nice place to go. There's also a great area where you can get some great seafood. They call the area Merle, Merle's Inlet the uh, best seafood in South Carolina. So there's a whole bunch of different restaurants on this strip and you might want to look at them, look at their menus and decide which one you want to go. We went to Drunken Jack's and we do have a video on Drunken Jack's if you want to see a little bit more about that. But most of the restaurants here are all very good. Some are high priced, some aren't. But it's a great day trip to take. Number seven on our list is mini golf there's a lot of miniature golf courses in myrtle beach if you love miniature golf courses this is going to heaven for you and maybe you'll get a hole in one like i did now i went to several i went to mount atlanticus which i was told is the best and it is it's a great walk around and you get right up to the top and you get a wonderful amazing view of myrtle beach there's also i went to crazy golf which was a ripley's downtown and that was a lot of fun it was like a glow in the dark and there's a lot of others so if you want you can go to a different miniature golf course every night if you're there for a week there is definitely plenty and uh, maybe more than enough for a week so if you like miniature golf put that on your list uh, here is the crazy golf you will definitely enjoy this a lot they're different they're not difficult I would say they're they're typical miniature golf courses but they're an awful lot of fun next why don't you take a walk around the boardwalk now this is what we did at night but you could do it during the day or at night there is an arcade there are games there are uh, lots of places for you to take pictures there's a lot of different stores right here you can get a photo if you want an old time photo dress into some of that clothes and see what you look like it is right across the street from the Ripley's Crazy Golf and they also have a haunted um, place there you can go to and believe it or not Ripley's believe it or not which is a great place to go here you go and they have a mirror maze they have a lot of things right there at Ripley's so uh, it's right on the main strip it's a great place to go there are also some amusement rides back there and you can also go on the sky wheel and the sky wheel is very pretty it's slow it's like an observation deck you just go around four or five times uh it's not really scary or anything but it's fun to look around and see what they have at myrtle beach i liked going at night you might want to go during the day it's all up to you but the boardwalk is a nice place to go and there's really something for everyone if you go during the day you have great views of the water um, so, you know, it's really up to you, but I like spending some time on the boardwalk right here, the, what I consider the main area of Myrtle Beach, and uh, you can have fun. There's something for everyone in that area, so make sure you make that part of your trip. Now, let's see, what else can we do? How about going to Barefoot Landing? Now, again, it's similar to Boardwalk on the Beach. It has a place that you can walk. I think in that area, they also have like a gator land you can go to. Um, but there's a lot. This is, I think there's an, another show in this area. They had some great chocolates. It's one of these places. They have some nice places to eat. Again, a lot of different stores, a little amusements here and there. I think they have a really nice carousel here as well and there are some other rides so uh, barefoot landing is a place you might want to visit put it on your list uh, check it out see what you think I know they have a lot of shopping 
So the last one on my list to do is ghost tours. Do you like scary things? There's a variety of ghost tours here, and they will bring you on the beach or to certain um, hot spots where there is activity or there was. They'll tell you the history. If you've never been on a ghost tour but you've always been interested, when you're here, you might want to do this. might want to make this a stop. I have been on ghost tours, and I love them. They're a lot of fun. You get to take pictures. Some can be spooky. Some can't. You can always ask when you book, you know, is it really scary or is it not? It's all up to you what you like. But that's definitely one of the best things to do when you go to Myrtle Beach. So this is Rockin' Robin. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell, give us a big thumbs up, and watch all our videos on Myrtle Beach.